Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. In this video, we're going to look at how the Green New Deal is working out for Europe. Two of the goals of the Green New Deal are to get rid of all combustion engine vehicles and to get rid of all plane travel. Here's what they say. Totally overhaul transportation by massively expanding electric vehicle manufacturing, build charging stations everywhere. Build out high-speed rail at a scale where air travel stops becoming necessary. Create affordable public transit available to all, with goal to replace every combustion engine vehicle. But this video is about Europe, so I guess I'll have to take an electric train over there to investigate. I wonder if Alexandria Cortez and the 100 Democrats who signed on to this plan have already planned out the train routes to places like Hawaii and Europe. In Europe, electric vehicle charging costs just increased by 500%. Starting in February, Ionity will be charging users a whopping 0.79 euros per kilowatt hour. The Audi e-tron battery is 95 kilowatt hours, so if you filled it up with 80 kilowatt hours, that's 63 euros to travel probably about 160 miles, give or take. So let's do the math. It's 792 miles from Paris to Madrid. The trip would cost about 350 US dollars and require the battery be recharged at least five times. The charge time for the 2019 Audi e-tron battery is 10 hours. So the trip from Paris to Madrid would require 50 hours of recharge time, meaning the trip would require at least 5 days. Now let's compare this to plane travel. You can get a plane ticket from Paris to Madrid for $67, and the trip only takes a little over 2 hours. So the Green New Deal trip costs 5 times as much and takes 50 times longer than the plane flight. This is what my solar panel looks like this morning. The Green New Deal wants to build charging stations everywhere which run off of these solar panels. So basically what they want to do is create an environmental catastrophe based on unreliable green energy. But there's no worries for me. I ride my bicycle everywhere and once they ban airplanes I won't be able to get to Europe anyway. And before you step into the voting booth in November, remember that a hundred leading congressional Democrats signed off on the Green New Deal. If they actually got what they say they want, their lives and the lives of their constituents would be ruined. These people are completely devoid of any common sense or any ability to think rationally. Mark Twain said, Imagine you're an idiot. Now imagine you're a member of Congress. But I repeat myself. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science and propaganda for a long time.